previous video, we consolidated our understanding of electron wave changes using an energy level diagram. We had given energies to the individual states, but had not explained where those values originated. Let's investigate that now. We know that we can increase the energy of an electron wave by adding loops. The total amount of loops, known as the principal quantum number n, is equal to the sum of the radial loops, j, and angular loops, l. As we add more loops to our electron cloud, the size and energy of the electron increases. This is described by the Bohr model equation. E sub n is the energy of the electron wave, z is the nuclear charge of the atom, and n is the principal quantum number. Note that this equation only works for atoms that have a single electron. That means that the hydrogen atom's 1s electron wave has energy E sub 1 is equal to negative 2.18 attajoules. Using the Bohr model equation, what energy would an n equals 4 hydrogen atom electron have? Using the Bohr model equation, we can solve for the energy of an n equals 4 hydrogen atom electron. As we know, hydrogen's nuclear charge is 1. The question asks for the energy of an n equals 4 hydrogen atom electron, so we will substitute n in the equation with 4. This gives us E sub 4 is equal to negative 0.136 attajoules. That means to cause the n equals 1 electron to transform to n equals 4, we would have to use light with photon energy of exactly 2.044 attajoules. You'll notice that this 4p electron wave is much larger than the 1s electron wave. That's because, as we saw, size also depends on the number of loops, n. The radius of the electron wave is radius equals 52.9 picometers times n squared over z. So the 4p electron wave is 16 times larger than the 1s wave. It's interesting to note that at the very beginning of the 20th century, people thought that n was related to distance, but we know better now. n tells us about the energy of the wave and its size. So it's not correct to think of electrons as moving between levels. That's just not true. This diagram, which uses the equation to get energies, is only modeling the energy of the electron waves, nothing else.